Today in art, we will be looking at a famous artist named Andy Goldsworthy. We're going to be making natural art just like him. He used lots of different materials that he found just outside to make sculptures and to make, you know, arrangements and patterns. So let's take a look at some of his artworks and think about what you notice and what you are wondering. Wow, he did a lot of cool things with natural materials. We're gonna use his art to inspire our own land art. So in a moment, I'm gonna go outside and find some natural materials. I'm gonna look for leaves, I'm gonna look for flowers, rocks, maybe a pine cone or two. You guys go ahead and find some sorts of things that you can in your neighborhood and then bring them inside or stay on your porch if you don't wanna get inside dirty. And then we're going to go ahead and start our project. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for some stuff. I'll be right back. All right, I just came back inside for my nature walk and here's some things that I found. I got some flowers. I maybe collected some of these leaves. I got some purple flowers, some different colors. I got some pine cones and some red flowers. So I'm going to create a design with paper and glue. But if you don't wanna use paper glue, if you wanna be more like Andy Goldsworthy, you can make a pattern with your leaves outside or like on your porch. All right, let's get started. All right, like I said, you're going to need glue and some of the things you collected from outside. I'm going to make a circle pattern like Andy Goldsworthy, but feel free to get creative and use different kind of patterns or different kind of colors to make your artwork your own. All right, I'm just grabbing out some of the things that I'm going to use. I'm picking a few different colors. And then I'm going to sort of tear and arrange the colors or the flowers. So I'm gonna start off with this kind of brown, brownish, reddish flower. And I'm just tearing the flower up a little bit and moving it around so it can be in a circle shape. Let me get some more of that. I have one layer or one ring of circle, so I'm gonna leave that there, I'm gonna get my glue, and I'm gonna kind of push it to the side a little bit, kind of keeping it in its same circle. And then I'm gonna do a string of glue. If you have stick glue, this may or may not work, you just have to press harder. So I'm gluing in a circle where I want the leaves to go. And then I'm going to place them back in its circle and tap them around so that they stick on my paper. Fill in some of these holes here. All right, now I'm gonna take my second color, maybe I'll use this yellow and do the same thing around the outside edge. And since I know that I'm gonna do a circle, I'm gonna put my glue, my glue there first. And now 
I'm going to put the yellow all around it. Just tearing off little pieces. All right, that was my second layer. I can keep it like this with two layers or I can keep going around and in the middle. I'm gonna keep going with the green on the middle. I'm gonna put some glue down. And again, if you don't wanna have the art glued to a piece of paper, just do it outside and arrange the flowers and leaves into a shape that you like. And I think for the last thing, I'm going to put a big pink one in the middle. Maybe I'll leave it open. I don't think it will stick if I just try to stick the whole thing. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same kind of thing and rip off a little bit and put some glue down so that it will stick. You create your own kind of pattern. I'm gonna clean up my area and I have my beautiful land art to use. Good job, artists. Now that you have made art like Andy Goldsworthy, think about what other things you could make with nature. You can make different patterns and sculptures and shapes with things outside. So share your artwork with somebody at home and then post a picture of it for me to see on the discussion board on Blackboard. Thank you guys, bye.